What's up guys, Jeremy here, All Things Man. Uh, my last video I did a review of my new recorder, the Zoom H5. And I'm using that again here. But I thought I would do a quick review of the microphone that I chose. It's the Audio-Technica 875R. It's a real small form factor mic, uh, a boom mic. Uh, it works great for the needs that I have. I haven't used it on my camera yet because I like to actually have it on a boom pole or microphone stand or something. But uh, it works great in that instance as well. Like a lot of people use them on the C100 or C300 uh, just because it's much smaller than, uh, it's 6.75 inches from tip to tip. So it's very small form factor. Uh, look at this little little tiny dead cat. It's so cute, right? But the sound quality you're getting out of this is great. And it uses um, phantom power only from 11 to 48, 54, something like that. But it has a huge range of different voltages that you can use. Uh, gives a nice full sound and you can do a lot of work with it in post. So let's uh, take a look. All right, so I'll hit just a few of the things that I really like on it. It's basically the maximum input sound level, that 127 dB. That's going to get you some really loud sounds. Uh, maybe not rock concert loud, but that'll uh, work in a lot of different uh, circumstances. Also, the signal to noise ratio of 74 dBs. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty good low noise floor especially for the price of this at 169. I uh, like the phantom power requirements, the 11 to 52. So I was not quite sure before, but 11 to 52. So you can use that with a lot of different recorders. And then some of the things I really like is the weight, 2.8 ounces. This thing is tiny and the dimensions 6.89 inches long. So it does require phantom power, so um, you have to keep that in mind. But it's a real solid mic, uh, well made, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Okay, and let's take a look at the polar pattern here. This is a line plus gradient polar pattern. So as you can see, it has very good sound capturing from the front and not much from the sides and the back. It really... It really seems to work well. I've seen some reviews that actually said it picked up a lot of background noise and a lot of noise from behind the mic, but I haven't found that to be true in my situation. Uh, I usually am in a quiet room though, uh, for the most part when I'm using it. So I don't know, maybe I haven't been in that particular situation, but for me, it works great in a like a small room. You can put it up near the ceiling. There's not a lot of echoing and things like that. Now this room I'm in right now is probably 10 foot by 10 foot. No windows. It should be echoing all over the place. But this, this just seems to pick up right at my mouth. And there's not a lot of background noise. Uh, let me know what you think below. If, if you disagree, you think I'm full of it, uh, whatever. Or if you uh, have this mic and you like it yourself. But I just kind of wanted to put this out there and do a few sound tests here and let you hear what it sounds. I'm not going to do any editing of the audio. We're just going to put it straight in so you kind of see exactly what you're going to get. And keep in mind, you can definitely alter it quite a bit in post. All right, so that's uh, the specs. This so far has all been audio from the Audio-Technica AT-875R. Now I'm going to switch over to audio straight from the Canon 80D's built-in microphone. Hello, this is a test of the internal microphone of the Canon 80D. This is a test of the audio from the Audio-Technica 875R into a Zoom H5. Alright, so as you can probably tell, it was a little bit of a... An investment to uh, upgrade to this but I'm very happy with it and hopefully this helps you in making your decision on up in your audio game all right so this is Jeremy all things man stay safe